After the January transfer window closed on Monday evening, you can look forward to hearing from the latest two additions to Russell's squad, Matty and Connor, in their first interviews as Bluebirds. And talking of first, we've got a special kind of first coming up in the form of Peter Whittingham going head to head with Welsh snooker pro Ryan Day in a game of shutker. Stay tuned to find out more about that. But first, we are over to the man with arguably the best arm in the game. It's Aaron Gunnison, and he's looking ahead to facing Sheffield Wednesday on Saturday. It's always good to get new phases in, and especially when we're going through a bad patch. And it's good to obviously mix things up and. And hopefully we can uh, we can get it right on on Saturday. Hopefully the next game will give us a lift, and uh, if we can get positive result, then it will take us further. But it's all about taking one game at the time and uh, starting by starting on Saturday. And hopefully hopefully um, we can take some positive out of derby game and and take it into the into the Sheffield game. And we're obviously taking full responsibility for for bad re result um, at late and. Uh, it's all about us sticking together and um, doing what's right on the pitch. And, and if we can, if we can get everyone, everyone um, on their toes and working hard for each other, then we've got a great squad. You said you see yourself as one of the leaders of the team. Do you then feel a big responsibility on your shoulders to bring the team together, to to bring in that togetherness you speak about? Yeah, of course. I mean, I'm one of the senior players here now, and along with Ben Turner and Marcy and Wits and. So it's down to us to get the, the things going again. And um, like I said, it might just take a one game where where we play well and get the results. Then that might start the ball rolling, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll start that on on Saturday. So let's take a look at the results and news from elsewhere around the club. Cardiff City Foundation welcomed Member of Parliament David Davis to the House of Sport on Thursday to check out our brand new boxing academy. Joe Calzaghi came along too to remind everyone just how it's done. Cardiff City Futsal under-18s are through to the last 16 in the Soccer AM Cup. Check out this goal from Lewis Miles that helped them get there. It was a loss on Monday evening for the development side, suffering a 1-0 defeat to Brentford. The next playing away on Monday the 9th of February against Bristol City. The Academy boys drew 3 all in the league against QPR on Saturday. They're also through to the semi-finals of the FAW Youth Cup after beating the New Saints. They'll play Newport County in the next round. Two of our visiting guests from Malaysia, Mohamed Akhtar Abdul Rashid and Mohamed Lachman Hakim Marzuki, had a run out in the Academy friendly against Newport County at Traforest on Tuesday. For those of you who missed it at half-time last week, congratulations to Neil Griffiths for winning with capital kicks at the Derby game. Neil's won himself two tickets to watch a Cardiff City home game in style in the BMW Sitna Lounge. Russell's sixth permanent signing in the January window came in the form of Matty Kennedy. The former Everton man linked up with the Bluebirds in a deal that'll keep him here at Cardiff City until the summer of 2018. And what the other was talks alone and obviously signing permanently but I decided that I wanted security and I thought I felt this is a massive club and I wanted to come here and try and obviously do the challenge myself, yeah. What's the manager said to you? You spoke to Russell Slater? Um I spoke to him just briefly last night, he said we were gonna get a chat today, but he was he was excited for me to come and I just told him I, I want to come play first team football. So hopefully I can get that here. Also joining the Bluebirds on loan from Everton until the end of the season and technically the seventh man through the door this January transfer window, it's Connor McElhenney. Cards are a massive club, great fan base um, and yeah, it's a, it's a big challenge for me and I'm excited for it. Plays it left to McElhenney inside the area, good shot coming in, goal for Brentford. We remember you playing against us for Brentford a couple of years ago, yeah, actually. Yeah. Fans, a few fans remember that, that's a good sign. Yeah. Obviously looking forward to getting in front of, been playing in front of them. Yeah, definitely, well, that was my first game for Brentford, um, and I scored two against Cardiff, so hopefully I can do it the other way on, um, on this weekend. Yeah. What can fans expect from um, I'm a team player, um, I'd like to think i get some goals as well. And yeah, I'm work hard for the team and try and score a few goals.
It's been a season of runs and inconsistencies for Stuart Gray's men. They enter Saturday's match without a win in three, that after winning the three previous championship matches prior to that. And the last time the sides met at the Cardiff City Stadium back at the tail end of September, it set in motion a streak of 11 matches without victory for the Owls, which spanned the entirety of October and November. Defensively though, only Middlesbrough have conceded less than the Owls' tally of 25 from 28 this season, whilst a record of 12 conceded from 14 games at home is only bettered by Borough and Ipswich, who have both, remarkably, conceded just 8 at home. The floor for Grey's men then all season has been goals and creativity. They are the division's lowest scorers with just 21 goals netted all season and just 7 from their 14 matches at Hillsborough, Turkish striker Ati Nuyu leading the club's scoring charts with just 7 strikes. The club have attempted to address this in the January window though. Striker Sergio Bus arrived on deadline day from CSKA Sofia in Bulgaria where he managed a record better than 1 in 2 this campaign and Lewis McGugan has renewed his loan deal until the end of the season, having made seven appearances earlier on loan from Watford, and both look set to feature on Saturday afternoon. So now for a brand new game of Shooker. All you need is the fine precision of snooker and combine it with a good eye for goal and you've got the perfect recipe for a perfect game. So who better to take on Welsh snooker pro Ryan Day than this guy, Peter Whittingham. Welsh professional snooker player Ryan Day recently visited the boys at the Vale Resort training ground, all ahead of the Welsh Open Snooker Tournament, which takes place from the 16th to the 22nd of February at the Motorpoint Arena. So is over to Ryan and Wits now. Wits with the upper hand first off, familiar territory for him in a penalty challenge with Ben Wilson in goals. Busy. Ben denies Wits his first attempt. And similar fate for Ryan, pushed away by Ben's rapid Same reactions. <laughs> Wits again then. Diving for yours. <laughs> oh. And that's one apiece. <laughs> Calmly does it by Wits into the bottom left. Oh. That's 3 1. <laughs> Great effort from Day finding oh, the yes. roof of the net to pull back to 3 2. <laughs> And that is how the round finished, no Wits proving point. who's boss from the spot. Now indoors on a surface more familiar today. So it was Wits to break, which set up Day nicely to pot first and it's yellows for the pro. Nicely finding the corner pocket there, but in goes the white off the bumper in the opposite corner. <laughs> I, was ready, I was ready to go home then. <laughs> Oh, so easy for Wits. And a repeat mistake for Day gifts Wits an easy setup. <laughs> it might be a slant. So that's two reds left on the table to Day's four yellow balls, and it's the pros' table once more. <laughs> Beautiful from Peter Whittingham, making it look so easy. The final red on the table potted and the white ball lines up nicely <laughs> for a first red. attempt at the black. And he pots black. He's done it. Wits with a little magic up his sleeve wins the pool round as well. Thanks for letting me win. And now on to the main event, Shootka. Both guys get a minute to pot as many footballs as they can. <laughs> Day slant. with the casual hand in pocket approach here. Shuka proving to be rather difficult for the snooker pro, who after a minute of play managed to pot just three reds. Now on to Wits, <laughs> already confident following his two prior victories, but can he make it three? Great break. 
He manages to match Day's three ball results within just five touches. <laughs> Almost cleared the table there, only two balls remaining, which means it's three in three for the Bluebirds number seven. It started so well. Peter Whittingham walking away triple <laughs> champion and more importantly, the champion of Shootka. Remember, you can catch the likes of Ryan Day, Mark Williams and current champion Ronnie O'Sullivan plus all the live action from the Welsh Open at the Motorpoint Arena from the 16th to the 22nd of February.